All right, well, we're down here in South Texas. It's coming to the end of December right now. And if you can tell back here behind me, we've got lots of prickly pear cactus. If you've been here to the state, you know that we have plenty of this stuff. And this is literally the food and fruit of Texas. Uh, prickly pear cactus, here about December, January, we have all this fruit being produced. And this stuff is full of sugar in a survival situation. This is definitely what you want to find. And uh, if you've visited the state, you know that we make all kinds of jellies and jams off of them. Now the fruit's what we're after today. The big pears, the green pears right here, you can fry those up. Those are a food source. But today we're just going to look at the purple fruits. And they are very edible and full of sugar, full of calories. Now you can't just go and pick these things and grab them up. Now if you can notice right there that those little dots, those protrusions, actually have dozens if not hundreds of microscopic spines. And if you go grabbing onto those things, they're going to get inside your hands. It's going to be painful and it's going to take days for them to fester up and come out. So you don't just want to go, go and grab onto these. Um, these days we use technology. We use what's called a pear burner. And what we're going to do is uh, go ahead and burn off all of those little bitty spines. If you're in a survival situation, well, make yourself a torch. Use fire again. Do it safely. But one way or another, you can use fire or flame to uh, go about obtaining your food safely. So what I'm going to do right now, this is my pear burner. And it's uh, connected to my propane torch. I'm going to use these for all kinds of stuff out here. But turn that thing on. And this is a cool toy if you can do it safely. So it's going to let off propane. You can uh, mess with the knob, make a little bit more come out, make a little bit less. Got the wind blowing. And uh, you've got your handle right here. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and torch a few of these things. And the way in which I do that is... Just like that. But if you like fire, this is a pretty handy tool. And with a few seconds on each one of them, you should be able to burn off all those excess spines. And if, uh, if you've already noticed, which you should have, even the big pear spines are gone now. So you can go about obtaining the food from the pears as well, if not outright cooking them on the pad. All right, so that's pretty much done. I really don't like those thorns being in me, so I was going to make sure i turn off my propane. And your fruit's ready to go. So. You need to twist them off. Cut them off. I like to cut them off. You can see that beautiful purple down there in the middle. Now, in the setting here in Texas, in our kitchens, we'll go about peeling off the outsides and then putting them on a kebab or putting them on a fruit tray or doing whatever we're going to do with them. Survival, you just want to go ahead and with the, the least amount of effort, get the most amount of calories and nutrition out of that. But look at that deep color. And it's going to stain your teeth. You can use this as a dye as well. It has a lot of seeds inside of it. The seeds are edible, they're a bit hard. But what you do is simply eat it like a kiwi. So I'm gonna peel back a little bit. A lot of times that flesh and that fruit will just separate just like that. And even though it's a little warm on the outside, it's nice and cold on the inside. Hmm. I'm gonna attempt to talk, but my mouth is full of seeds right now. And it tastes like, it tastes like raspberries. It's absolutely amazing. In the middle of winter time, you can get just a ton of sugar. Each one of these is probably worth 30 or 40 calories each. So you're looking at a huge dessert. If you want to preserve them, you can travel with them. These things aren't going to go bad for a couple weeks. So you can stock up on them. This is just an all around good food. Uh, here after a while, we are going to show you how to go about cooking the pads. And this is a, a big, big fare that we eat out here, especially in Mexico and in Texas. 
you buy them at the grocery stores. So good food, readily available food, easy food. So enjoy your cactus, guys.